So they're going to set the angle, set the stack, and look at the counter. So a little better counter. Feel how we counter. If this counters, look at how it'll naturally stretch. So he's going to lean. So we're going to set the stack. Chest, hip, knee, foot. Stacked, right? We all get that simple concept of a stack. Now, does you see this position? This is different than the position he first set up, but it looks so close. But this one's better. This is the example I always like to do. I'm gonna turn his foot. Oh, look, I turned his left foot and his hip moved. So action, reaction, you guys got that? The band is off of his back. That means this arm's open too much. The arm has to stay here, so the band stays across the shoulder. This arm stays back. Does that make sense? Now, he's going to rotate the lower body. He's blocking. He's going to block. Okay, that's a better position. You know, coach tells you to put your left hand right there, and the next throw, you put your hand right there. To do that, you have to feel what you're doing. And to feel what you're doing, you can't be going full speed. Now, just the opposite next week or two weeks when you in your track meet. You shouldn't be trying to feel what you're doing. You should just be trying to direct your energy into the ball or the discus so it goes for it. Does anybody think about walking when they're walking? <laughs> Hopefully not, but you don't have to go left, right, left, right. How come? Because you've done it so many times you don't have to think about it anymore. That's what you have to do in the ring. You have to practice it so many times and you're so perfect at it that you don't have to think about it. Then you just think about throwing far. That's how it works. That's how your brain works. Myelin myelination. It's what your brain does. It's not muscle memory. It's brain memory. Your brain sends responses and information the way you want it to go. But until you build that up around your receptors, you're not going to move very fast or you're not going to do what you want to do. Key to myelin myelination doesn't matter how fast you go. No, you can do these things at a walking speed and it will start developing in your brain that that's what you want to do. Then you can just start going faster and faster. So that's why when we're doing this, thinking about what I'm doing, not thinking about how far I'm going. The hardest person to beat is yourself. Beating other people is easy. The key is you have to work. Perfecting the movement. You all have an understanding of how to throw, right? So now all you have to do is perfect that. It takes time. Like martial arts, I, I apply a lot to throwing from martial arts. I really love samurai. I love the aspect of how the samurai look at what they do. What happens if a samurai is not very good? He's dead, right? Because the other samurai beat him. You guys just get to go home and say, he beat me by three inches. You lose the samurai, your head's laying on the ground. So the greatest samurai, anybody know who the greatest samurai of all time was? Miyamoto Musashi. 63 duels, he died of old age. What does that mean? He never lost. He never lost because he perfected his movements. He understood what it took to win in competition, and that was to practice what you're doing every day and prepare yourself for competition. Don't just train, train to win. Obviously, samurai, if you don't train to win, your head's on the ground. To win is just to be better than you were yesterday. Today, you're going to make yourself better than you were yesterday.